as they are talking, going through their memories of different things that have happened, they t talk about their childhood when they were you used to go to Dead Man's Tower, <coughs> and this was a huge tower, and it's a very dark place where almost it seems as though executions and stuff like that happen. Hello, I've got another Net Galley arc to talk to you about and it's um, called Cocoon by Chang Yoan and it comes out on the 4th of October 1922. I will say right at the start I apologise now for my pronunciations because I am hopeless when it comes to doing anything like this. Right, this book is... Um, it's a challenging book. It's not an easy read. It's worthwhile, but it challenges you the whole time. It's, I'd say there's no joy or, or light in it. Um, we have got two characters, Li Jiaqi and Chen Gong, and they meet after um, a separation of 18 years. They've not seen each other for 18 years. And they meet because Lijachi has come back to be with her grandfather who's dying. Her grandfather is a renowned doctor and um, he's sort of part of the establishment. And she's come back after, she's, she's even been separated from her family all this time. She meets Chen Gong, so this is the first part, because this book is almost framed. This is the, the beginning, the present. And then what we have is Li Chiaqi and Chen Gong in alternate chapters talking about memories, talking about their life. And these are all first-person narrations. So you go from the, the present and then you go back in the memories. And we find out about 1967, the Cultural Revolution in China. We find out bits about that, how their two families are connected. And connected by a sort of mystery because Chen Gong's grandfather is in a vegetative state and he has been ever since something happened in 1967. And there's a, a connection between both families. And the mystery is what happened to Chen Gong's father, sorry, grandfather. It's this, this book is described as a literary thriller, but it's not a thriller in the way that I understand th thrillers to be, the way that I enjoy thrillers. I'd say it was more of a literary novel than a, a thriller. As they are talking, going through their memories of different things that have happened, they t talk about their childhood when they were you used to go to Dead Man's Tower, <coughs> and this was a huge tower, and it's a very dark place where almost it seems as though executions and stuff like that happened, because when they were children, there were still body parts scattered around this tower. Um, very grotesque, very gruesome. Both are seeking... Um, a sense of belonging, parental love. They both come from very dysfunctional families. And they both come from families are sort of on the opposite scales of the class divide. You know, they're, they're, they're not on the same level. They're, there's a huge disparity between them. So really, they shouldn't even be friends, but they are. And as you hear their stories, you see the effect that this mystery, 
that the lack of parental support, parental love, everything has left a legacy on these two young people. So it is a very, I'd say it is an unsettling read, it's a challenging read. And it is framed because right at the end, we go back to the present day. So you've got the present day sort of be beginning and end. And there is no joy and laughter there, but there is the value of friendship there that comes through. But both of them are searching for answers. And this is a book of their search. And whether this uh, the answers get a result, well, with, I, do, I don't think there's any real resolution. We don't really f never find the answer to the mystery. Not fully. So, Cocoon, it comes out on the 4th of October. And um, it's challenging, but it's worthwhile. So take care. Happy reading. <laughs>